Hey, what's going on guys? Young Tyler here with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. I know it's been a long time. I know, and I'm sorry. It's just, I'm really, I'm going through a move right now. Like, the summer just ended, so my lease ended on July 31st for the apartment I was staying at. And, um, I had to transition to my girlfriend's house, or her apartment, for, you know, seven days. Because I had to finish my internship here at, uh, at Baylor for seven days, so... It just ended today, so I fly back to California for family vacation in, um, tomorrow morning. So it'll be a little bit spotty again when I'm there. I might be able to post a video or two to hopefully keep you guys, um, in the loop with the new event. But, um, sort of they kind of changed it a little bit. I'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, that's just what's been going on. I've been really busy getting, going through a move, finishing my internship. You know, a lot of the deadlines came up, so... I've been kind of gone, and the last live stream we did was, it was trash, I'm gonna be honest. It's because I didn't realize my mic was muted for 50 minutes of the live stream, so you guys were coming and leaving, and I'm, I apologize for that, that was just terrible. I should have, I don't know why I didn't check beforehand. Speaking of, let me check right now if this is muted. Nope, we're good. We're chilling. <laughs> okay. We're good. So, let's just get into this anyways, let's just get into this. So, first thing I did when I updated my game is I got a little notification about this, the Summoner's Vis Sigil, which I've seen a little bit about it before um, we started this, but uh, a little more detail. I guess we get a seven day um, little like, what's it called, uh, trial period, but um, test of the uncollected. So essentially you can get units, some five star shards, potions, gold, ISO. For the, that milestone. So here's all the milestones for that. Which it doesn't look too bad. I don't understand how 200 shards, 5 star shards is quicker than 2000 premium. But whatever. You get a little energy refill. So that's not bad at all actually. And that's just for playing the game it looks like. It's just playing the game. You get a bunch of... Look at this. Yeah, you could, you just playing the game you get stuff. Um, Black Market. Which looks pretty cool. This is a whole video on itself to be honest. Um... But you trade in items for other items, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, so you can turn in, this one looks pretty cool. You can turn in, uh, three basic, tier three, ba tier four basic, if you're, like, just rolling in tier four basic, and get a class catalyst out of it. So that could be cool. Uh, featured five star crystal is actually 13,000 shards instead of 15, so that might be more worth it to some people. And here's a big one that I heard about. Looks like they reduced it a little bit. But for 2,000 four-star shards, a fully formed four-star, you can trade it in for 750 um, five-star shards. Which, if you buy all three of these for three, pretty much three four-stars will equal. Quick math off the top of my head, what 2,250 five-star shards. So, for me, I'm like four, five, six. That puts me at like what 7,000, about a little over 7,000. So it's like, eh, that's pretty cool, I guess. This is a pretty good one for me, the Cad Carbon Note. What the f I, f I don't even know how to say that, to be honest. 500 units, but I, I swear, I could have sworn it was 500 units anyways. So let me check that. Oh, it's 550. So it's a 50 unit, I mean, whatever, 50 unit decrease. It's not like a huge deal, but it could save people if they're in that kind of boat. Um, if you don't want your three star shards, trade them up for four and then trade those up for five. You can trade straight up 2,000 premiums for a whole 3 star hero crystal, so that's nice. Mastery core is 120 instead of 150. So there's some things in here that are pretty good, not, not gonna lie. Some things in here are pretty good. Tier 4 basic for tier 3. That could be really good. Ultimate crystal for 4,000 premium shards. You know, not too bad. Low key, not too bad. Uh, looks like you can only do this 3 star crystal thing once. And I don't know what this little sign above on the top left right here means um i think that just has to do with how far you've progressed in the game but um yeah i have 2000 so like if i wanted to i could seriously go here and just get some five star shards real quick so i mean there's some pretty cool stuff going on with the black market but um yeah so that's one of the things you get with the sigil increased inventory for catalyst iso and select items that could be cool. That could be cool, I guess. Not bad. Earn extra rewards in the test of the uncollected event. So whatever that event is, um, 
we'll go check it out in a second. Earn extra gold in the Golden Circle quest, which is huge because gold is like the limiting resource for everybody in this game. Complete more quests with faster recharging quest energy. That could be nice if you're like me and you're not level 60 yet and you want to just grind. Uh, raise your level and gain mastery points faster with an XP boost at the bottom there. So, yeah, essentially you can get to 60 pretty quick probably. Unlock a title. Who cares about a title to be honest? I'm going to run the uncollect until I get the cavalier. Then I'm going to run the cavalier. But, um, essentially, I mean, that's what... Nah, I'm collected. Essentially, that's like um, that's what's going on with that summoner sigil. So it's a, it's like a very case to case if it's worth it or not. For me, I might give it a go if I go through this week and I'm really appreciating the events that they have for us and all that jazz. And I think it's going to be worth it. Then I'll go for it. But um, let's look at the event quest. So they have both variants, and then they have the new. The new event, Ex Machina. How's the rewards looking for this new event? You know, typical reward stash, whatever, master. That's probably going to be the one I look at most because that's the one I'm going to push for exploration. 2,000 shards, and of course you're going to get more. Four, you get a fully formed four star for exploration. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead on this channel. We're going to knock out the um, completion of the uncollected which I'll probably post in segments of each chapter for you guys. Um, I'll go through the whole master on my own, just so you guys don't have to see that. Uh, if you're having trouble, though, let me know, and I can do a video on something in particular. Um, so eventually, essentially, that's the event. Same as every month, you just get the new heroes, and then you fight the heroes in the last two quests, whatever. Champions. Golden Circle, here's, here's the one we want to see. Four days left in the Golden Circle. Um... Potential reward looks like a bunch of gold and experience. So let's see if a hundred thousand gold for completing this. A hundred thousand. That's huge. Cause look at me right now. Twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four thousand. A hundred thousand would be huge. So like if you're a smaller account, or even bigger accounts, I guess. This golden circle quest can really like up your um I guess decrease the time it takes for you to get your champions up. Um Turn the volume off for you guys. Oh well. Anyways, um, Sinister Labs. This looks like it's a new event quest thing. 10 of 10 remaining. Entry resets in 24 hours. So it looks like it looks like it might be. I don't know anything about this. I haven't seen it at all. Um, Mr. Sinister is putting you to the test. Can you survive Sinister's onslaught? So. It looks like it's going to be pretty similar to um, the Human Torch event, if you guys remember that. I think. So we can even run through one of those on this video and just see how it is. Or I might save it for another video because essentially I just want to get the, the basic of the new event, all the things that dropped this, this past um, today at noon. For me, noon. And we'll see um, what's going on. So let's go ahead and go to... I think I can just go to Champions and check them out, right? I don't know if I can actually. I don't know if I can see the abilities and stuff for Warlock and what's his name? Sunspot and Warlock. Okay, maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Oh well, when we get more info on them, um, I'll show it to you guys. But we'll probably go over what they do specifically. There's other people who have posted videos, of course, um, like Seaton and Dork Lessons. And I think Dork Lessons put one up. Uh, I'm sure there's other people who've also put one up. But, um, we'll look more in detail when we actually hit that quest. What it's gonna entail for us. But, I guess for now, that's, that's about it. I, I don't know if the mail has, um, maybe I missed something. The new event, let me see. So we got the Champion Spotlight Sunspot. Okay, this will give us a little bit of something. So, Roberto... Roberto de Costa is a hot-headed, suave Brazilian millionaire, suave, suave, and a highly respected leader to mutants and heroes alike, backed up with the ability to, to mutants and heroes alike. So he's a good guy? He's kind of a beast. Backed up with the ability to absorb, store, and unleash enormous amounts of solar energy at will. Sunspot is a force to be reckoned with both behind the scenes and on the battlefield. They're of course hyping him up. We'll see if he's actually that good or not. 
But it kind of sounds like he's kind of like Havoc, to be honest. Dear Summoner, I hope this... Uh, whatever, 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 brother. Here's the event. This event quest is also eligible for Time Attack Legends. Your time starts when you begin your first quest in either Heroic or Master difficulty. And ends when you have 100% explored both difficulties, the top 100. Okay, so that's just the speedrun thing for like the top tier people in this, in the, uh, in the game. But, you know, essentially I guess the main takeaway from this event is, is the summoner stage worth it or not? Um, and I think that, again, goes back to whether or not you're a small account, big account, what you're trying to do. I would say just deal out this first week of free summoner sigil, see if this quest right here is enough for you, if it's good for you. Um, I think, by the way, this um, the cha the rewards change depending on um, your progression in the game. So since I'm uncollected, yes, you at the top you're uncollected, I get the 100,000. But if you're, you know, if you don't have the uncollected tile, if you're the lower one, I forgot what it's called, I just passed it. But if you have the lower titles, of course, you're going to get a lower reward. So again, is it worth it for you or not? It's up to you. I think the Cavalier one's only 125,000, so it's not a huge increase. But going from uncollected to Cavalier is a pretty big deal, so... It could be worth it for people right in my niche, to be honest. Like, right in the uh, uncollected, borderline uncollected type, um, <clears throat> type of player who is struggling on gold, struggling on ISO, and is pretty uh, lacking in the 5-star department. So it looks like you can buy these buff randomizer things for gold. What do they do exactly? Reroll random active buffs in lab event quests. So the lab event quest must be um, the special quest we just saw. Sinister Labs. Okay. Well, be on the lookout for a video then. Uh, I think we've covered just about everything. If I've missed anything, let me know and I'll go over it in the next video. But, um, yeah, this event looks like it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of things going on. New heroes, of course. The summoner schedule is definitely taking the cake. Um, Anyways, what I was saying, if um, if you guys play Overwatch, you know, they tend to do this a lot, or they'll drop an event, they've done this a lot lately. They'll drop an event, the event's kind of trash, but then they'll drop something big in the game, say like recently, Rollock was just dropped in the game, 222 Rollock, um, to counteract the fact that they dropped the same event from the past four years straight, or three years straight, so it's like... Okay, whatever. I guess now it looks like a better event because of something that they've added into the game. In this case, it's the Summoner Sigil. But um, I'm not saying the event's bad. We'll see if the event's good or not. Um, I'll post a video for you guys. i got 23 hours to do this, but I'm going to do it right now for you guys. Um, so expect a video very soon about the Sinister Labs um, on the Epic Difficulty. So, yeah, I mean, that's all i got for you guys right now. But um, I'll be posting another video today. So you'll have two for me today. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be on vacation for the next week and a half, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and get uh, videos done for you guys anyways. Well, I'm there at least one or two, at least, <clears throat> so you guys can see stuff from me on this progression if you need help or anything, or if you just wanna see me mess around on here. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, cool. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, I'm sorry again for the last live stream. It was just totally messed up. I can't believe I forgot to unmute my mic. That's crazy. Rookie move, but, um, Anyways, appreciate appreciate you guys coming out, seeing the video. I appreciate you guys um, subscribing, liking. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. Really appreciate it. It makes me know that you guys are actually here enjoying the content I'm giving you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, so make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos like this one in the future. And, uh, yeah, again, I appreciate you guys. See you around.